Hey up YouTubers, Simon B here, welcome back to the channel, hope you'll keep it safe out there, somewhere a little bit different this week, um, not on location. Two weeks ago we uploaded a video regarding the best app to use to navigate yourself around the lanes, that app was um, OS Maps. So this week I'm going to give you a bit of a crash course into using OS Maps to map all your green lanes, how to import and export a GPX file with OS Maps. So, you fancy a bit of that, as they say? Stick around, stay tuned. Like and subscribe. So using desktop at this precise moment, do a bit of a screen recording and show you what how it all sort of works together. So what we need to do is open OS Maps and you've created with this. Now I don't know why it keeps dropping this pin here and do everything and stuff I don't know but be a premium member to get the one in 25 one in 50,000 so you've got to pay 20 pound a year which we sort of discussed that so um, get rid of that and go in the bottom right hand corner and you want decent looking um, quality maps so you can from that you can auto zoom it and as you zoom in and zoom out it will go from one in 50,000 to one in 25,000 or you can actually lock it to one in 25,000 and it'll just stop there. Um, auto zoom is not is okay, so we'll just leave it at that at the moment. Click on the um, on that, and get rid of it. It's basically like uh, if you've ever had uh, paper versions of the OS maps, but it's on your screen. Um, zoom in, zoom out. The whole UK. I it does. Does it do Ireland? Yeah. Does Northern Ireland? Does it do, I don't think it does Southern Ireland, no. Um, and the mapping's not available for Europe. So it's only UK. So UK stuff, it's great for, but some people might want it for elsewhere. But let's plot a bit of a, a route. So we've got OS maps open. We've done the map types onto um, 1 in 20, 1 in 50,000. Um, let's do something, we'll get rid of that. And let's get something so we, we know where we're at. So this is my part of the, of the, um, my part of the world. Um, so we're going to top corner, create route. And we'll go off-road cycling. So we'll, where are we going to start from? So we'll start from, there we run wood, there, like that, yeah. So start there. I know there's a green lane here. So click there, the red line has now put it um, to the next waypoint. I know there's a green lane up here, because you can see um, you've got green dots and I've cross reference it with the green map, just to make sure. All the way through, up to the top. Now from here, you can either do a, um, a right, or you can and, and go somewhere else. So we'll do a right. So you can see there, it's actually gone to the end of the green lane, turned it round, and gone back to where it needs to be. This is what it does when it snaps. Um, it snaps to the so if we put it there, it'll snap all the way to the lane itself, which is a good thing. From there, sometimes, depending on what you've got it classed as, it may take you somewhere else. So you just have to keep checking back every time you put a waypoint in. Because if I put one here, oh, it has gone the right way, so we're okay there. Um, we'll continue down this um, lane, down into Haybridge. I know there's uh, another one there. And it's just a, and it, it's a click, 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 click. It does take a little bit of time. So from there, we're going to come back up this road. And we're going to click, click, click. Follow the, um, the green lane. I'm only doing this so fast here because I know that it's my area and I know where the lanes are. Um, Whilst you're doing that, it's also going to tell you what the route length is. It also does this on the on the app version on your phone. 
so it can tell you what sort of um, miles that you're putting in. So from there, once I run down there, so it, it, it's 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 really 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 simple. It's a little bit time consuming, depending on on, on where you're at, and and if you you don't know where you're going, and you cross referencing backwards and forwards. See there, it's just gone back on itself there. So you just need to look at places like that. So we'll just undo that and we'll take it back a bit. Because if you're doing stuff on a, on a bridleway and you've done something like that, when you come up to somewhere where you think you're gonna go straight, it wants to go back on yourself. So it gets a little bit confusing. So just check every time you, you, you do and, and check which, which way the route's gone. And it just snaps road, lane, you can big, you can you, you can put big chunks in it if you wanted to but the problem is that you'd have to go back and make sure that everything was correct and it didn't take you down the footpath and things like that which is not very good, I might have gone a little bit too far there I have so because we're going to go up this lane just here um, so I'll just take that back a bit and this here is um, is a green lane all the way up all the way through and then from there what we'll do now we'll go across um, we'll go across on the ferry and the OS maps knows there's a, light, there's a link there so it actually goes straight across it which is <laughs> which is quite good because there's a hatch line so it knows there's something there so it does it for you from there where are we going here um, there's a little bit of a lane up here somewhere um, uh, nope wrong way see it's taken down down a down a footpath bit of a bridle way sort of um, I think to get us there because that's the quickest way so we'll past start hall and we'll go through around and in. So now there's, um, there's a lane there. Back up the road, up through. Another green lane there. Another green, oh, taking the wrong way. That's just sometimes when you have to uh, go back on yourself. It should take us, no, it's still taking us, it's taking us up there. Don't know why. There we go. And then you can zoom out, look at it, and, and see see where you've gone and where you're going. Um, open the thing up, it tells you we've done 20, it's a 20 mile. Then all you do is um, name, let's call it uh, test one. From there, you can keep it private. You can share it with anybody that has the link, which you can share the link to them, or you can leave it public. You can actually put a difficult rating on it, say if you're doing uh, footpath, walking, um, even mountain biking, if you're going to share it. it. It shows all the elevation of where you're going, all the way through. You can click on it, it tells you where all the waypoints are, I'm not really interested in that. And um, all you do is save it. Your route has been saved, do you want to continue editing? Click no. So now every time you go into routes, on the desktop version it's roots um, save route on android it's my route in the red that's the route that shows you from that you can modify route so one of the things that you can do is to go into click into style you can change the line thickness and then you can change the color of uh, the, the line blue gets a bit annoying. Yellow I can't really see when I've got me certain goggles on. Green can be a bit, I don't know what the best colour is, I'm still trying to find which is the best colour because there's other colours. I think the red at the moment, um, you can make it thinner, thinner, thinner or as thick as you want and you can actually um, make it a bit transparent if you want. Another feature that, you, that uh, is quite good with this um, software, I don't know if it does it in the app version on the phones but in the bottom corner you've got a 3d fly through and um, what it shows you is uh, in 3d format of exactly where the route is where it goes um, 
think you can do a speed, can't you? Well, no, you used to be able to. Which is, um, which is quite good if you're doing uh, a bit of mountain biking. It shows you the places uh, that it goes and the elevation of, of where it may take you to. And you can slow it down, speed it up. Oh, there's your two buttons. As Grisdale comes right over the top, S weight water. Then we'll go across on the ferry. Now you've got it saved in OS Maps, you can do various other things to it. I like say you can go in to modify it, you can change it, you can lengthen it, you can shorten it, take stuff out. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do that because it could, we're going to be for could be for hours. I'm not, it's a bit of a general overview to get you going, and the more you use it, the um, better it is. If you want to share it with your friends? Export, export GPX uh, file. That I believe went to that went to downloads. So there's your GPX file. It doesn't show anything. You can now you can send that to your friends, send that to anybody um, that you want, and they can upload it into their system. Or you can share it. We'll come out of that. Or you can share it different ways. Your route can be accessed by anybody that's got a link. Anybody with this link can see. Click yes. And then you can copy the link, you can share it and send it that way. So you don't have to send them the GPX file. So if they've got OS maps, they can get into it and use it, or you can put it public. Now, a few people have been having issues with this next one. I can't import a GPX route and I don't understand why. Click on the three lines, which is menu and um, route import GPX file. So you get this up and it comes up um, import GPX file, choose file. That's my download file on um, on my PC. So there's a couple of uh, GPX files. So if you just click on that and just click open. From there, what a few people I think probably not doing is you need to click what go down and click upload root. So it imports the GPX file. Success, your route has been saved to my route. To make changes of this route, go to route details. So all you want to do now is to click check route details. And it brings you up with the same tab box of the one that you did before. So you can modify the route, export the, the GPX file, give it to somebody else, share it um, and click your um, 3D fly through. So this is a bit of a route that um, down in Wales, which um, I have on uh, on file. So I don't know why people are having issues regarding importing GPX files because that's how easy it is to do. One of the good things about the OS Maps is that once you've done it on your desktop, it goes to every other um, device that you've got it loaded to. So we've done a route on on the desktop. So I'm going to open the phone now and go into. Um, Menu, Routes, and there, you see, is Test 1. And it's already uploaded. The phone's been connected to the internet, and it's already there. You don't have to upload it to every, every device. The iPhone that I use doesn't have a SIM in it but it works on the home Wi-Fi and I can hotspot it to this, so if I do modify something while I'm out, I can change it and upload it to it. And like I say, it's 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 there already. It's it's just it's great. It's basically the same way to do on your phone as it is to do on the desktop. So we do something, so we see if we can capture something and show you how sort of easy it is to do on, on, on that as well. Um yeah, let's do that, shall we? I'll do it the crude way. Um yeah, so the good thing about the like I said before is everything's already on it. So if we're going to menu, we're going to route. There's our um 
test one that's already uploaded i've just checked the uh, iphone as soon as it connects to the internet it um it, it, it gets there one thing i've just noticed that there's some reason to, they've changed the the app version is that you used to be able to go into um root and from root from there you used to be able to download a gpx file but for some reason that's gone um i've just googled it and it's telling me that that's the way that it should be done but apparently i can't find it and i don't know where it's gone all you've got is, is my roots, favourite roots on uh, I think it's so it looks like you can only upload them on your desktop. It looks like upload GPX file through your phone or through the app, it's not there anymore. So anyway, from there if we want to plot a route, let's say you can go into menu and uh, roots and no, sorry, go into menu and uh, plot a route. Plot a route. We'll go off road and you get you come up with the same sort of um, toolbar that you do on the uh, desktop where are we let's go down here somewhere so we're already in on the bottom there which is in premium and you can only get them sort of um, stuff if you're on premium which is the one in 25,000 one in 50,000 as we said before so as it's saying it's saying at the bottom there tap on um, screen to start plotting um, and there's a green lane up here and it just does the same as what you would do on the desktop and it's just a tap a click and it snaps to line all the way through and allows you to do exactly what you do on your desktop but it's just sometimes a little bit fiddly if you know where, where you're sort of going you can you can you can you can do you can um get it quite you can you, you can plot your route quite quick and um, you can undo the last as the same before and um, whilst you're doing it you can click on your style and you can click on um the colors exactly the same um click on the red save save route here um test x save route you can do the same regarding um save it to people save it for everybody let everybody have a look at it the route tells you um 3.4 mile and if you go to your um saved there it is test x and it's already uploaded to your desktop and then if i go to the iphone which is already connected to the internet the Wi-Fi it's there already it's all right isn't it yes yeah, so that's probably one of the reasons why that some of you out there are having problems with importing GPX files up into the app version of the um, OS maps that has been taken away I've no idea why I'm going to get in touch with uh, I've just found that out I'm going to get in touch with um, OS and find out why they've done that because it was there before because a lot of um, stuff I've downloaded from on the internet on my phone and uploaded it, it, it to it so I don't know why that version has gone so but possibly if you're on your phone and, and open the OS maps in the in a Google browser you might better do it that way I'll have a look see if that can be done if it can I'll put some down in the comments or something like that uh, but I'll look at that later so that's how to use the uh, OS maps of how to plot your stuff um, it, it's relative it, it's dead easy isn't it? it's just click once you've done the GPX route get to the start point press start button dead easy as we showed in the last video that we did um, of, of, of how it uses and how it follows highlight the, the uh, red cross and everything should be okay so thanks for watching it to the end hope that was some interest to you if it was don't forget give us a big thing, thumbs up thank you very much um, any questions anything you'd like to ask drop in the, something in the comments if I can answer it I'll answer it if I can't I'll say I can't I'm, I don't know everything thanks for watching it to the end People say spring's round the corner. This is um, beginning, what date is it? We did this on the 11th of February. But if you are riding out there, um, ride safe, be safe, keep safe. And uh, as they say, I'll we'll see you soon. Like and subscribe. <laughs>